Okay, this is a setup for the Monster Jam. And I have the Scotch Magic Tape to make my grid. And you can use Scotch Magic Tape or Washi Tape. The first thing you wanna do is take your tape off and actually put it like on your clothing a little bit and get it a little bit dirty. And then I'm just gonna lay it down on my grid. We're managing the stickiness of the tape so it's not too sticky. And we're making six chambers. So make And for mine, I'm going to do around the edges as well. I'm cutting off the overlap just so it doesn't stick on everything. And now we are going to paint the chambers in different mid-tones. So you can use any color you want. I'm starting with the yellow earth color. And we probably will talk about this in class, but the yellow earth name um, is most likely this pigment is a iron oxide or a Mars color. And we'll see what it's actually made of. But I would call this color um, closer to yellow ochre, even though it's called yellow earth. This is what I would call that. So if you notice the naming conventions for every paint is a little different. The, this is the ochre and I would call this red, either red ochre or iron red or Mars red. These are two of our most opaque pigments of this set. showing you how I'm re-wetting a color on my palette and painting with it. With transparent pigments such as the greens and the blues, to make them more opaque, you must add white to them. The one thing you'll start to notice about this jade green and white is it'll make the temperature of the mixture cooler. Now, if you wanted a jade green that's lighter, but warmer, instead of using white, you could use the yellow. Let's try that. I need a, another place to mix. So when I mix up the jade with yellow, it is warmer, a warmer temperature than the jade with white on the left side.
Let it dry and then take the tape off. 